Okay, hi guys, we're at the uh, outside down street over there. The demonstration happening, and this is actually a uh, representative of. Stop the arms fair. Stop the arms fair. Thank you, I know that, that, that is all, so, you remember, like so many different. That's true. I know. <laughs> anyway, so what did you tell us about actually what's happening with the. Uh, that prince coming here, they're saying that, oh yeah, he's changing Saudi Arabia, which I'm thinking, really? <laughs> well, I think Saudi Arabia is, is, was inevitably going to have to change. Uh, anyway, the, the, the structures were becoming unsustainable, so I don't think he deserves much credit for that. Okay. Uh, and what the people here are talking about is actually he sails uh, on weapons to Saudi Arabia, yep. which have gone from being a few billion to, to being multiple billions of, no. of, of dollars of, okay. of pounds um, and this at a time when actually casualties in Yemen are, are really high we're really looking at thousands of civilian casualties and millions affected by famine okay. I mean I just uh, found out today that only 6% of the population supports the idea of selling uh, weapons to uh, Saudi Arabia yeah. uh, which is great but at the same time you have people saying oh yeah it brings jobs <laughs> well, uh, and uh, you can you can bring jobs by making macrame owls or whatever. It says the, the question is here is whether you want to um, uh, make jobs off the backs of civilian casualties, uh, and that's the real question. Do you, do you really want to be creating a war where more than two thirds of the population of a country with twenty million odd people is, is in need of food aid and is actually uh, and, you know as many are as close to starvation uh, as okay. that? So. You know, I think we need, as a country, to find a better way to earn our living. If that's the only reason we're doing it, that's not a good well, reason. Well, I mean, they did say, like, uh, the same expertise that's, need, that's actually used for all these uh, weapons manufacturing would be good to actually, uh, to, for your renewables, like one million climate jobs, you know, all that. So what do you think about that, that idea? Well, yeah, and also to kind of meet the needs of the, the, that people have. I think, you know, we, we live in a country where public transport is in huge need of, of, of renovation, where... Oh, definitely. You know, <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been we've not building enough homes, we've not been building enough schools, uh, you know, we, we, we don't have enough hospitals. And so, to me, if, if you have kind of trained people who are capable of creating things, building things, designing things, they should be actually focused on human needs, indeed, the environment and, uh, and, and the power supply, versus um, creating weapons which, in the end, are, are mostly used to kill civilians. I mean, that's the truth of it. It is, unfortunately. But yeah. then it's like, uh, uh, they call it collateral damage. And, and they may have used those terms, uh, you know, maybe sort of World War II, you know, Vietnam, but I think it's become very clear that actually uh, the... the, the the civilian deaths are actually part of the plan. There, there are too many. You know, you can imagine if, 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 I, if you or I threw a bomb around and, and 20 or 30 people drive die because of it, people would say, well, you're doing that deliberately. Well, they're doing it deliberately because they're trying to essentially cow the population. Yeah, terrorism, and, basically. Yeah, and would you, yeah, but to basically destroy the support of their enemies. Well, that's not accidental. Okay. It's, just, it's just happened too often to be accidental. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Christian. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, and then okay, Thanks, that's uh, Kirsten. And uh, so, what's the main uh, group you're part of again? Uh, you'll find me at Stop the Arms Fair. Stop the Arms uh, Fair. But also, I do a lot of stuff for campaigning yeah. against arms trade. Okay, so, thank you so much. Okay, you. guys, this is actually OB, <laughs> Occupy this Network, and you can see that there. Oh, okay, we'll be here until about 8 o'clock. So, please come, well, 7 o'clock, but 8 more than likely. Come down, please, if you're uh, available.